Introducing the all new Corolla. It was a momentous occasion not just to mark the grand opening of low-T duty-free shops at the airport, but as Governor Eddie Calva pointed out, it's a celebration of low-T's investment in Guam's people, economy, and tourism industry. And it's corporations such as Latte that have come to Guam, they, they've seen the potential for our island, what this beautiful experience that Latte adds. So in behalf of our administration, the people of Guam, we want to say thank you, Latte, congratulations, and I look forward to shopping there in the near future. God bless you. Lotte Duty Free CEO Hong Kyun Lee. Lotte Duty Free has put the utmost effort to achieve this partnership. With all our effort, our Guam store will be a true beacon for our global business expansion. We'll continue to try our best to build the partnership of trust, belief, and confidence with GIAA. Furthermore, we contribute to the local community of Guam. The new Loti Duty Free project boasts over 24,000 square feet of renovated retail space, main airport thoroughfare, food court, and restrooms. A new family room was also added to the passenger waiting area. Loti also added a unique local concept to the retail experience with a Guam Cultural Center that features the island's traditional culture with a model carabao, the iconic Laddie Stone, and made on Guam products. Guam Airport Authority General Manager Chuck Addis says this was all made possible possible through the hard work of Loti's contractor. Today, Loti Duty Free has invested over $20 million into your airport and our AIDS economy. If you did not know, the Loti's contractor worked around the clock seven days a week without one incident or discrepancy. So you can feel the difference uh, as you're walking through the airport. I, I travel quite a bit and as I'm walking through uh, uh, you know, your stores and the different boutiques in the stores, you can really tell that warm uh, uh, feeling as you're passing by, as the, uh, the sales associates you know, really greet you properly. Uh, they really have that product knowledge. And it's really that investment into the human capital that goes well beyond the, the 20 plus million dollars in the hardware.